How's it going dudes and welcome back to Lake and yeah, we're going back on the job. Top of the morning, PO! Complaints in Monday mornings. Okay, get, wait what? Alright, oh, I gotta get the booby box. There are three deliveries to here in town. Gotta go back to the campground. Here. I oh, know that's the motel. Uh, wait, three parcels? No, two parcels. And one in the campground, one here in town. Uh, it would be best if I... wasn't right next door to my house. So yeah, going like this. All the way across. And then here. That seems good. The perfect combo. Pio positive or that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Um... That went a little too far ahead. I mean, not... I'm not close enough for me. At least now I can turn the radio off. Hmm. These look like bills. Uh, aren't they always? You want to find out? No, not a little close. Like very close there. Oh, uh, we're going all the way to the back. Gave him. I hope you liked it. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Yeah. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Hmm. Maybe the other one would have done better. All right. Technically, I already have the letter, so... It's just her. Okay. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Hmm. On your own today? On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. I oh, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have... I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. That is suspicious. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Hmm. 
Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the, what RV? About the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Mm-hmm. Cool, yeah, oh, why not? Cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Alright. We've got a plan. Now we go. Oh, at least this one I can just fast travel to. And here we go. Gonna be in the way for a little bit. All right, there is package to the root, dude. Mm hmm. Hello, sir. It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? I thought I'd bother you just to deliver a parcel. Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Yeah. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. Yeah, he's just playing a game. He's using that as an excuse. Time to return the uh, movie box. Which is right up here. Why do you mean to stop? I am on the curb. Let's go. Wait. Kung Fu Kid. What does that one say? Ghost Blasters? I mean, kinda close. Back to the present. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Yeah. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Mm. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Mm -hmm. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? 
Yep, I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Oh. I mean, I don't got any tonight, do I? Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Uh, wait, okay, today. I mean, I do have to do with these contracts. But there's also a movie date. I can do these contracts tomorrow, right? Yeah, probably. I can totally do Steve's thing tomorrow. Hopefully. Honestly, let's me do it today. Why is there only one entrance to the mail? Oh, ow. That works. Monday evening. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions yeah. about code of conduct, and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Basically nothing. Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, mom's poking me. I mean, I guess we're not sure allowed to talk about work. Uh, gambling, but Bye, Meredith. That's, we don't know anything besides that. Hi, Meredith. Was dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, mom. Yep, you tried. But I had nothing particularly interesting to say. Just a normal work day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's a jerk, He's a yeah. jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Nice. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? Oh, what? Okay, lag for me. I mean, just interesting. What do you mean? You know what I mean. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. Yeah. How are you guys doing over there? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers, cheers! What? And we're... I'm not even in the car. This is fun! Okay, It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. 
but of course we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Hmm. Yeah, I'll let you, you pick. pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue <laughs> Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. Hmm. At least give me some guidance, though, like... What yeah. do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. Okay. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need, a road map? Alright, I'm ready to pick. Let's go with Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh, The Carpenter. This ought to be a ride. <laughs> And it's endlessly quotable. Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> you were right about it being a ride. Woo. Yep, that's Carpenter. And the best part is, we don't have to talk about hidden meanings or anything. Oh, dear. Does that mean we have to talk about ourselves? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so anyway... My parents' okay. house is right down this road, as you well know. Right, Missy. Let's go that way. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. What computer? what, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Mm. Yeah. I'm I don't want to lead her on I too am much. Tired. Aww, you sure? I'm tired. I believe I'm trying to go for the lumberjack. Yeah. Sorry. See you later, okay? Kind of, okay. I mean, uh, mentally, I already Good decided night, to like, go after the lumberjack. Morning. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Okay, what's up, Frank? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also Mostly about, about you. Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you, Are you in, in trouble, trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Ooh. Well, I guess we'll go see Robert in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.